When I covered Roga in September and November, it was clear this young man of Russian-Mongolian parentage had the physique and technique to make Division 2. The spirit seemed to be there as well, but at the top of Division 3, where he found himself this time, desperation can be a great leveller. There, every foe you face is either just as keen for a huge pay rise as you, or an actual salaried man scrapping with every sly technique to keep what he has. Could Roga cope with his first taste of such demands? He's a good 10 centimeters taller than his first foe, Bushozan, and a far better bench presser. But Bushozan hammered with the right, then dug in with the head to protect his belt, and then pushed upwards from below, propelled by the left leg to win the Battle of the Second Rankers. That left Roga needing four wins from his final six to go up. Trying to block his path with that slender frame in match two was top ranker Kitaharima. And Roga made light work of the lightweight intent on a sidestep. Now where he most convinced us of his promotion credentials was against the other top ranker, Takakento, in match 3. Here he puts that left to excellent work on Kento's right elbow once it fails to take the belt, and works overtime to get that right inside, first as a hook, then as a lethal clamp. But two days later, that spirit was matched by fourth opponent Ichi Yamamoto, who avenged a push-out loss in November with a push-out of his own. It was a first timely reminder for Roga that fighting outside oneself was not unique to him. And here was the second such reminder. Toshimaru launched some 50 thrusts to keep Roga from his belt, then gained confidence from this left parry to find the finishing move. It was one of the bouts of the tournament, and it left Roga crushed. And that's only approaching the fighting spirit required to win the scramble for promotion. You'll see what I mean at the end. Following that, Roga lost another battle of wills to Dai Shoho on day 11, forced out by Yorikiri, and seeing his promotion chances end. His final match against September divisional champion Terasawa was thus a case of damage limitation.
And with the pressure off, Roga reverted to the hungry wolf of previous months, simply bullying with that left to lessen his drop in rank. Being only 21, there'll be plenty more promotion chances for him, starting with next tournament and the bar for wins considerably raised. But spare a thought, also, for his Day 9 conqueror Tochimaru, whose spirit did get him to four wins from his first six, only to be told it was still not enough, and to find something extra for an effective promotion playoff against 2nd Division Yago on the final day. Here's what happened. It really is that hard to clamber over the salaried line. And with desperation the constant leveller, there's no guarantee for Roga or Tochimaru that next time will be any easier. <laughs>